What's going on everybody? The Citizen Garage has another all-wheel drive bike in it now. We built this one, the Hemiway Cobra all-wheel drive. I had this e-bikeling motor just sitting around in the shed collecting dust and I thought why not throw it on a bike so we put it onto the Cobra to try to give this thing a little bit of a power boost. So uh, and it works. I mean I built this thing in like two hours. I mean it didn't take long at all. I did it real real simplistic the way i did this i'm going to show you how i set it up then we're going to go test it and see how it works let's check it out okay there it is all-wheel drive hemiway cobra bike and we've just put the e-bike link kit on the front yeah 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 i know it's ugly i don't like it either the direct drive motor um, eventually i'm hoping maybe someday i can replace that with a geared hub motor just like i did on the citizen bike but the geared hub motors are really hard to find and i'm working on that still where to get those already laced into a wheel so you can just pop them on but for now, this is kind of like my prototype. I'm just, I'm experimenting here just to see if I like it. I put it on there just to see if I like all wheel drive Cobra or not. And I did a couple of loops around the neighborhood, but we're going to go out and we're going to take this thing off-roading a little bit and see how it works. And honest to God, it took me like two hours to do this. That's including like soldering up all the battery connections and everything. I'll show you how I did it. So obviously you got your direct drive motor here. It's 1200 watt direct drive. It's completely silent. You know, it's not like a geared hub and it's ugly <laughs> but it works it works you got your motor wire coming up the forks right there and then my i have my little small battery pack inside this bag right here that little pocket rocket battery pack i've got that's like eight amp hour that i use on the citizen bike uh, I, i've got it hiding in here along with like the extra display screen from this kit i basically grafted uh e-bike conversion kit onto the front of this bike. Again, two independent separate systems running each wheel. So in here's your display screen and a bunch of wiring and the battery. And then all the wires just feed out the top here, going over to my left-hand thumb throttle, which controls the front wheel. So we've got rear twist throttle and front thumb throttle over here. This is a regular Cobra display screen. You can see some connections coming out. And then in this pack, I've got the controller and a bunch of extra wiring hiding in there. And Honestly, it's not, I mean, obviously not very refined, but it doesn't look crazy bad at the moment. I just wanted it to function. That was my main goal. Let's get a functioning Hemiway all-wheel drive Cobra bike and just see what happens. So we got to that point. If I decide to build this out into a true all-wheel drive bike, I will certainly make it look way nicer than this and we'll get things mounted in better places and hidden. And uh, yeah, but this is prototype version, you know, 1.0. So controllers in here, batteries in there, motors in the front, throttle, and yeah, that's all you need. That's all you need and you got an all-wheel drive bike. This is the latest, let's go try it now. I wanna see how this thing performs. All right, before we do our first test, let me tell you just really quick about Citizen Cycle all-wheel drive. I basically set it up where each wheel has its own independent system, its own battery, its own controller, its own throttle. They're two entirely separate systems. I think that's the best way to do it. I will debate anyone on this. That is the way to do it. It's so much better. There's so many advantages to it. You can set the wheels up to deliver different power. You, know, you can do slow start on the front wheel. You have full control of the front wheel. There's no accidental engaging in the front wheel. That's big for an all wheel drive bike because that happens all the time where you're, it kicks in and you're not expecting it and the front wheel spins out on you. That never happens on my bikes because I don't get power out of the front wheel unless I push the throttle and ask for it. So you have complete control. You can modulate the throttle. If one system breaks, you got the other one to get you home. I think the benefits are endless for my all-wheel drive systems anyway. And I did a whole video on it. You can watch that if you wanna get some more detail on why I think it's better. And I think the only disadvantage I found is you can't ride all-wheel drive one-handed because you have to have one hand working each throttle. But let's go over to our short, steep hill climb that 750 watt bikes can't make this little grassy hill over here under, under throttle power only, including the Cobra. The Cobra will not climb this hill in stock form using just the throttle. It's too steep. It's about 25% grade on this hill. We're gonna try it now that we've switched to all wheel drive and see if it'll make the hill now. I guarantee you will. I haven't even tried it yet, but I would be absolutely stunned if it did not make this hill now. All right, here we go. Both throttles. There you go. 
climbs it with ease. It failed the first time I did that. Just rear motor only, stock form Cobra. So did Magic Cycle, so did Snap Cycle, so did Rad, so did every single bike fails on that hill with a 750 watt motor. They can't do it. And now this is all wheel drive, cakewalk. All right, time for the next test. We're gonna do hill climb test. I always say that dual motors are the best hill climbers. Let's find out. I will put up on the screen the Cobra's original time on this test and we'll see if we can beat it. I'm sure we will. So here we go. All wheel drive Cobra. How much faster is it up the hill climb? Three, two, one, go. Oh, my disc is, my brake disc is rubbing. Oh uh, yeah, way, way faster up the hill. And time. Holy cow. Yeah, that was a lot faster. I don't know how much faster, but night and day difference. Dual motors are definitely the strongest hill climbers. Because when you have a, you know, mid drives, I know they have a lot of torque, a lot of power, but it's all based off the gearing of the bike. This doesn't, the gearing doesn't matter. You just hit the throttles and go, baby. No shifting needed. Now, I did not build this all-wheel drive Cobra with speed in mind. I could care less about the speed on this bike. I got the Citizen bike for that. I built this with the idea of maybe it'll be a better off-roader if it's got the all-wheel traction. I was trying to think along the lines of, okay, dual sport motorcycle. It would be kind of a better version of that because it's extremely lightweight. It's really, really heavy for a bicycle, right? This thing probably weighs, after all the stuff I added, probably, a, I'm gonna say 105 pounds at least. So 105 pound bicycles, like four times heavier than <laughs> probably a regular mountain bike. But in terms of a dual sport motorcycle, this is really light. I mean, the lightest like dirt bike dual sports I can think of are like a DR200 or maybe a TW200 from Yamaha. Those weigh like 280 pounds. So this is like a third of the weight of one of those. That's kind of the way I think about it. I, don't, I was never a cyclist, I don't ride bicycles. But I ride e-bikes and I ride motorcycles. So to me, this is a, a lightweight motorcycle. My other, my other bike weighs almost 500 pounds. But it definitely has a lot more zip to it. I mean, this is just rear wheel. That's your acceleration, right? This is dual. Let's say both kick in. It's pretty quick still. I mean, that's 30 right there, no problem. I'm, uh, I'm geared up. I got my helmet and my armored shirt on <laughs> for, for initial testing here. I don't, we gotta make sure the wheel's gonna stay on. I put no torque arms on this and you're probably thinking you're crazy well citizen bike doesn't have torque arms either as long as you got the torque washers down the drop out you're usually good it stays in there let's go do some more uh short steep grassy hills here get a feel for what this bike is like there's a couple just throttle up them no problem no problem there and now the big one 28 percent i mean with ease, we had a lot of speed going into that though. Maybe I'll try it without so much speed. All right, let's try that again without so much of a run at it. See what happens. Kind of approach slow. Now we'll hit it. Whoa, almost fell off the curb, but yep, no problem. Throttle only. I mean, if I would have pedaled, it would have been even easier. But that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the original Cobra wouldn't have done that. All wheel drive power, baby. Let's see what's over here. Okay, wow, this is way overgrown. Something drove through here. Yeah, and I'm wearing shorts. Fantastic, I'm probably gonna get ticks all over me or something. This is what I want to do with this. Just be able to sit back, relax, cruise, and have all the power I need at my disposal to, to off-road through terrain like this. It doesn't really matter that it weighs so much. Like I said, it's lighter than a motorcycle, but I'm not gonna be really lifting it all that much. And I can lift it if I have to. But yeah, tons of, tons of power here. Let's see how muddy this is. It rained, it rained the last couple of days. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
plenty of juice to go exploring like this. I can see that my battery is falling out of that pack. Ooh, it's a little, a little bit muddy down here. I don't want to get, we're getting shallow. Let's get out of the mud a little. All right, now let's just do a takeoff. No problem, this front wheel digs and spins a little bit. That's fine, that's what it's supposed to do. Carry me around without any effort. What's up this way? Oh yeah. Perfect, uphill. Just digging its way up. This is exactly, exactly what I wanted out of this bike. Now I just need to find a geared hub motor again for the front. I may have to resort to building my own again. Maybe that'll be the next thing Citizen learns, how to lace in a motor. I would do it. The only problem is I don't have a thing to uh, like th put threads on spokes and you have to custom cut the spokes, I think. All right, let's go back up through here. Let's just give it some gas. It just powers right out of here. Gosh, up this hill, no sweat. Yep, beautiful. Oh, the drive Cobra, I'm liking it. We're gonna have to now make it better, I think. Make it look better, make it function better. But if anybody else added a motor to their bike and set it up like this with dual throttles, let me know how you like it, what you think. I can't imagine that you wouldn't like it that way. Just total control of whatever wheel you want turning, you can make it turn. But I'll give you a look at the all-wheel drive Cobra in the daylight. Let's get it parked in the sun so you can see it. What all -wheel, What bike will be all-wheel drive next? There you go. Oh, I got grass stuck in it. Gotta put that motor wire down better. There you go. Success. All-wheel drive Cobra version one. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Got questions about this bike. Let me know. I'll, I may try to build it out a little bit better, like I said. And if you like e-bike stuff like this, consider hitting subscribe, checking out some of the other content I've got on YouTube, and uh, ringing the bell so you're notified when I put out more. And oh man, my battery's like, oh, I split the zipper. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, there you go. It fixed itself. All right, we're good to go. Let's get out of here. Oh, we gotta do top speed. I'll go do a top speed for you. I know everybody's gonna ask me. Well, it's the top speed now. Before, so when you get the Cobra from Hemiway, top speed's 25. It won't go past that. I changed the display on mine, and I got it to go about 30. So let's go see if it'll beat 30 with the addition of the front motor. All right, are you ready for a top speed run? Here we go. 30 is the number to beat. The display screen is really dark. I can barely see it. Let me take my sunglasses off. I can't see with the polarized lenses. All right. That should be good. I can see a little bit. I'll read the numbers out to you in case you guys can't see them. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Pedal a little bit, get going, and then I'll just back off. All right, full throttles. 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 30. Four and a half. So there you go. Put a motor on the front. I just gained four miles an hour. Four and a half miles an hour. It's pretty darn good.